Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I teach you how to create simple landscape with using Octana Render. So firstly guys, I create some composition. So guys, now I'm going to take a landscape, this one. Yes. And size, increase, height. So guys, mid one, I take like 200. Yeah. And guys, copy this landscape. And go on here, right side. Yes. Okay. So guys, select both and go to mid. Like this. Yes. Okay. All is good. Now, guys, again, copy this landscape both. Go on here. And guys, this time, size increase like 500. Yes. And only change seed. So go to up. Yes. And change seed. Select and change like this. Yeah. Right. Okay. So guys, select this one and copy go on here and again actually only change seed yes and decrease height yeah yes and again copy yes and change seed yes see guys that's my simple composition right okay so guys now i quit wood fact so guys now this time i take cylinder and go to display select odd shading lines yes and make smaller guys radius i take like two yes and guys height i take like 50 actually little bit increase like i take 100 is better yes okay so guys zoom in and height segments increase simple like this okay so guys now i create rotation and band effect so guys, now I take FFD tool, this one, select this FFD and make child with cylinder and fit to parent check. Yes. And guys, grid change like this, right? Okay. So guys, select FFD tool and click on point and select rectangle selection tool and create simple movement rotation. Yes. Yeah. See guys. Right. Okay. So guys now select this cylinder and I go to caps and fill it check and decrease radius. Yeah. I take one. Okay. So guys now hide this FFD tool and hide on render. Yes. Yeah, simple. Now. Okay. All is good. So guys, this time I create more fact. So use cloner, select this cylinder and make child with cloner. Yes, guys select cloner and I go to mode and use grid array and mid count. I take one and I increase size. So mode I change like per step. Yes. And increase guys count. I take like five and five. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys now attach on flow. Select. But guys this time I apply random effector tool. So select this cloner and take random. Yeah. And I go to position. Guys position change Y. I take zero. And change only X1 like this. And Z1. Okay, so guys select this cloner and size change. Yes, better. Right, see guys, that's my simple composition. Okay. Okay, so guys now I create water effect. So I take simple plane, select this plane and go to down like this. Yes, I increase size. on here yeah see guys that's my simple composition and now guys i take this time and side tool this one and select this and side and size guys i take only three and change size like this 
yes guys i create like arrow effect and this time guys i take circle and circle radius i take 0 0.5 yeah and take swap tool so select both and make child with swap yes right guys see that's my simple shape okay so guys now all is good guys i apply material and create material so guys i go to octana and live window check and select drag and drop on here left side yes guys closer and guys select this here yes okay so guys click on here click yes see guys that's my composition and now guys i take camera so object and use camera and check camera and guys camera angle like this yes guys see that's my camera angle and lock this camera angle on here so right click on camera and take protection yes i lock here okay i create cloud effect so i use some file see guys that's my vdb file format see that's my cloud effect right you can download from my website it's free so guys go to here and go to object and use octana vdb volume yes and select and i go to vdb here and that's my file and click on here yes and select so guys select this round cloud file and open yeah and guys import unit i take hectometer this one yeah and i go to medium and click on here yes and guys volume step length i take like 0 0.5 yes and density increase i take like 400 yes so guys go to top view panel and select this vdb file and go to back here see guys that's my cloud and go to front view panel and little bit up yes right see guys okay so guys now select this file and little bit closer so select the swap tool and guys now little bit back back and go to up yes and guys now i increase inside tool shape actually size increase like this yeah i take like 100 centimeter radius yes and only rotation change so select the swap tool and rotate rotation change yes see guys right okay so guys now i apply more cloud so again i go to object and use volume and guys i go to vdb and select this one cloud and medium guys volume step length i take like this time one and density i take 400 and now go to back and guys vdb and guys import unit i take same hectometer yes right see guys that's my second cloud so go to back little bit yes and guys again i take one more and little bit up yeah now guys i create one more cloud effect and select this one file and select this one first one yes and import unit i take same hectometer and medium guys volume step length i take one and density i take same 400 yeah so guys select and go to back go on here yes and up yes see guys 
my cloud effect is finished right okay so guys now i apply octana daylight so guys i go to object and use octana daylight select yes is better and guys now i take one more light so use octana area light this one yes and guys select this light and that's my front light yes go to again little bit back yeah see guys that's my cloud okay guys i show you how to change color you can change any cloud color so go to vdb file and see guys that's my color and go to here and select this one and you can take any color i take light pinkish color like this and again see guys that's really beautiful right you can take guys any color yes see guys i create like pink cloud effect yes right okay so guys now i create material so guys firstly i create material for this cone and guys go to shader and double click and i go to emission and body emission check and texture use rgb spectrum select and use like red color yes and go to back and surface brightness check and double sided check and apply on save tool yes right okay so guys now i create material for water this one so guys now create water type effect so open that's my water material and guys material type i use specular this one yes and open this note editor yeah so guys go on here that's my main material and guys firstly i create material so i use noise select this noise drag and drop yes and guys second one i use displacement this one select so guys select this noise and connect with input and connect with displacement yes right okay so guys change some setting on displacement so select this displacement and guys amount i take like 0.1 yes and level of detail i use 2k this one yeah and click on noise click and guys global scale i take like 20 simple guys that's my flow material like water effect so close apply on plane this one so close this material editor yes see guys that's really beautiful okay so guys go to here and use pt this one yes that's better okay so guys now select this landscape and little bit go on here yes and select this one landscape and go to here yeah more yes see guys now that's really beautiful okay so guys i create material for this landscape so i go to create and open and open material and go to again note editor so go on here guys i have already download some material see guys that's my material so select drag and drop a note editor yes see guys that's my material right okay so guys that's my normal map connect with normal map and guys see that's my should be on roughness yeah that's my roughness select connect with roughness and that's my diffuse select connect with diffuse yeah guys that's my ambient occlusion so you delete yes guys my displacement is missing so again i apply 
displacement texture yes yeah that's my displacement right and guys level of detail i take 2k and connect and guys amount i take only one one yes so guys now apply on all landscape select and apply and yes right it's really good guys you can change also uv length is depend on your work so like 50 and 50 yes better and last one guys i create material for this rock actually wood effect and open and again i go to note editor yes so select drag and drop on here and guys i apply this one material like this select drag and drop on note editor guys you can download all material and project file from my website so select this diffuse and that's my roughness and that's my normal map select normal map and last time guys that's my diffuse actually displacement yes okay so guys select this displacement select and connect with here input and now connect with displacement yes so guys select this input level of detail i take 2k and amount i take like guys one one is good so close guys now apply on cloner actually cylinder yes so guys select this material and length uv i take 220 and 20 yes right okay so guys all is good now i go on camera and camera check guys go to post processing enable check and bloom power i take like 20 yes and guys camera image check and guys exposure i take 0 0.9 yeah and gamma 0 0.9 yes much better and guys natural response check yes saturation to white i take 0 0.2 yeah better right guys see that's my really cool effect guys you can change any material apply you can apply any material on that's my landscape so guys finally i go on here go to render setting and max amp i take like 2000 yes and guys caustic blur i take 0 0.2 and gi clamp i take like 4 yes right okay so guys that's it it's my final render right so go on here full size yes right okay so guys that's it it's my simple beautiful landscape with using cloud effect is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you